Hi, today I'm reviewing the Drunk Elephant Bora Barrier Rich Repair Cream. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time to sponsor ads or videos, so if that's something you're into, like, subscribe, share the video, check out the links below, or check out my Patreon community. So I'm not so crazy about Drunk Elephant anymore. A lot of people love this moisturizer, and uh, I don't know. I, for once, I think I disagree with the masses. Well, you know, I think I disagree with the masses a lot, but definitely on this one so um i will talk about it now but uh anyway i did a, li a little blood test a few weeks ago and showed my thyroid was low which is kind of a bummer and then i got an email today it's your thyroid check your thyroid like a reminder like throw it in my face your thyroid's a mess you're a mess anyway so whatever it's been a long it's been a long week my thyroid's a mess so i think it makes me tired but anyway i don't know why i brought that up I'm bummed with Drunk Elephant, I'm bummed with my thyroid, I'm bummed with this moisturizer, but it's got some good things going for it, but um, anyway, some things I didn't love, so, which is usually a love-hate relationship with Drunk Elephant, so. Uh, okay, so they say this reparative formula nourishes skin with glucosal ceramides, beta cysterols, and zinc and copper salt minerals to encourage the natural synthesis of healthy collagen, vital lipids, and hyaluronic acid in skin, promoting elasticity, soothing skin, and supporting healthy barrier function. That is like their longest run-on sentence. Um, anyway, so Bora Barrier delivers powerful, deep moisture, firming skin, and reducing visible redness, returning your skin barrier to a healthy state. Okay, that is a long, long run-on sentence. A lot of commas, a lot of spaces, a lot of commas. Okay, so in terms of the packaging, we've got the traditional fun color Drunk Elephant jar. Uh, at this point, I don't think they have refills for this. I assume at some point they will because they have refills for their other two moisturizers. Or maybe this one won't be that popular and they won't do it. I don't know. Anyway, so it's got the jar, airless jar packaging, which is fun. I, um, no issues with that at all. Uh, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. And it's also fragrance-free and has no noticeable scent to it, which is also nice. It's the nice thing about Drunk Elephant is typically they're reliable for that. Uh, man, it's manufactured in the U.S., so no issues with that. So I think the biggest um, bummer with this one for me was the ease of use of it. Um, it's very thick. So they do have some suggestions on how to use it. Mix it with other skincare from Drunk Elephant, so you get to purchase all your stuff and then mix it. Uh, to use it as an ultra-rich mask by mixing it with their F-Balm, or to mix it with their Wonder Wild for an ultra-buttery supercharged treatment. Yay, so uh, those first three suggestions, you get to purchase all the Drunk Elephant stuff to use it. Or you could just use it on its own, uh, and it's super thick. I just could not get over the thickness, and other people really enjoy it. So uh, they, some people got samples of it and really enjoyed it. I don't know. For some reason, for me, this stuff is so thick. And I have super dry skin, so I really appreciate something that's thick and hydrating. But this stuff is just over the top. It feels almost like applying like a wax to your skin or Vaseline. Um, so instantly for me, daytime use of this one is almost out of the question. It's way too thick. Uh, it will pill up under you know, sunscreen, things like that. It is just so thick. It feels like you're wearing a mask on your skin. But you know what? Then again, there's a lot of slugging and people using super rich things like Vaseline and things on your skin to slug. So this one, I guess, is kind of like that, but it just makes it so thick, it's hard to apply it in your routine if you already are using other products because then those other products start to pill. They start to slide off your skin. This morning, again, I kept trying it. And I woke up with just pills everywhere of just product. It was just gross. And I don't know. Something on this one for me is just lost. But other people absolutely love it. So I don't know. For me, this this is just so thick. I just don't love it. Um, I'll try to finish it. I can't make any promises. But I just did not enjoy using it or applying it. Once it's applied, it's okay. But again, I wake up this morning with little pills, uh, little blue pills of copper peptide things. And uh, anyway, so it's shiny. It feels very mask-like. But I guess for super dry skin, I guess that's not a bad thing. Um, kind of second question myself, why I don't love this so much when other people do. But anyway, 
Uh, again, do they mention use this one in your daytime routine? Because if they do, use daily? Yeah, I don't know. Apply one pump morning and night. I couldn't imagine using this one in my daytime routine, but obviously, maybe it's just me. That could be. Because other people really liked it, so um, nothing wrong with that. I do love the, you know, three recommendations they use. I just, I can't imagine you just under sunscreen and foundation over vitamin C serum. And that, this used to be what Drunk Elephant really had going for it was their products are expensive but very enjoyable to apply, unlike things like The Ordinary where they're very uh, thick or pill. And I, I don't know, things have changed in like their protein now. Anytime I use it over almost anything, it foams. Something's changed. I don't know what, or maybe it's just me. And that could be. Okay, so let me talk about the beneficial ingredients in this one. So we've got shea butter, good antioxidant emollient. We've got a long list. Um, evening primrose oil, soothing ingredient. We've got marula seed oil, emollient, berry repairing, source of fatty acids. Hojaba seed oil. We've also got tamanu oil, which is the bora barrier part. The bora tamanu comes from bora bora area. Um, tamanu is great. Wound healing, skin regenerating. Uh, it's even a brightening ingredient. Uh, squalane, skin identical ingredient, glucosal ceramide, hydrate ingredient. Then we've got some fatty acids. Uh, we've got several fatty acids, which are great for bear repairing, which this is meant to do. Uh, we've got those glyco uh, sphingolipids, which are emollients, rosehip oil, good emollient, alpha glucan, hydrate ingredient. We've got resveratrol, uh, antioxidant, anti inflammatory. Uh, we've got EGCG, antioxidant soothing. Uh, zinc gluconate, and then we've got the sodium PCA. We've got the Matrixel 3000 Duo, which is great for uh, stimulating collagen production. Uh, let's see, we've got an algae, that's a great source of astaxanthin. Quercetin, antioxidant, polyphenol, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. Then we've got ceramides, cholesterol, uh, fatty acids, vitamin E, and tetrahexyl desical sorbate. So, I mean, it's got a nice ingredient list. I think just Maybe too many fatty acids for my skin to appreciate. But you know what? Maybe this winter hasn't gotten really dry or cold yet. So maybe that'll happen and I'll come to appreciate it more. We'll see. I hope it doesn't come to that because I'm really enjoying not freezing my tush off every time I leave the house. But anyway. Okay. So in terms of uh, animal testing, it's, it's cruelty free as well as vegan. So no issues with that. Uh, in terms of Performance, so what it promises, it promises to repair skin, promote elasticity, soothe skin, support a healthy barrier function. I think it delivers on all those accounts, so no issues with that. Despite having an enjoyable, unenjoyable thick texture, it does deliver on all of those accounts. That's awesome, nothing wrong with that. Um, and a lot of other people didn't seem to mind the texture, so nothing wrong with that. Maybe get a sample first. At least this is one of the few products you probably go in the store and get a sample of and know nobody's dug their fingers into it. So that's nice. I do recommend getting a sample though. Um, anyway, it's a nice option probably for very dry and dehydrated skin types. For acne prone skin, I would be cautious. So for acne prone skin, we've got Ceteral alcohol. We've got evening primrose oil. We've got jojoba seed oil. We've got squalane. Sorbitin isosterate, palmitic acid, steric acid, vitamin E, and carbomer. So acne prone skin, be careful. There's a lot of acnegenic ingredients in here. In terms of the price, so this is currently their full size, 1.7 ounces, 50 milliliters, and retails for 69 bucks. So it's freaking expensive. I do have some dupes though, and I'm going to mention this in tomorrow's video. I've got Tomorrow I'm working on uh, dupes or alternatives for Sephora's most expensive moisturizers. So, uh, in terms of the effect, you're not a must-have for me. Hopefully I'll be able to finish it because I don't like the feeling of wasting any money. Um, in terms of dupes or alternatives, we've got the Medicaid Advanced Ceramide Night Cream, the Ole Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer, which does have fragrance in it, the Sunday Riley Ice Cream, the Paula's Choice Omega Complex Moisturizer and the Neogen High R Exosome Cream. And every one of those, I prefer to this. With the exception of the Strength Trainer, which has fragrance, I don't love that. So, otherwise, with a 10 being a perfect score for this, I give it a 7. I hope to finish it because I don't like the thought of wasting 70 bucks. Otherwise, I'll hand it down to my niece or something like that. So, 
Um, anyway, interested hearing from you guys. If you guys are tried this and what your thoughts are, leave a comment. If you agree or disagree, I'd love to hear it. And I will see you guys more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.